Hello guys, welcome back. Now, there's another section unit within web methods, which is quite popular and used widely is the scheduling service. Now, again to the definition, we'll get back to it. But first, let's go back to the IS and see here. Okay, just let me dismiss all this notification. Okay. Here you go. See, click on the server and within server there's scheduling. Okay, what is that you're going to do? But before that, we, let me do one thing. Let me create one flow service here within the web methods. It is already there under resource monitoring. No, I don't want that. I'll do one thing. And you say it's a POC web methods. I'll say schedule service. Schedule service, okay. And I'm going to call, create a flow service name. Right click new flow service called scheduler scheduler flow service okay and all i'm going to do is write a debug log that's it that's it i'll tell you the reason behind the debug log okay <coughs> oh, come on there you go debug log okay control c control v Okay, right. So in this debug log, I'm going to say a message that this is called from this is called from scheduler service. Okay, and I'm going to leave this as it is. Function, I'm not going to change anything. Another level. Mm, that's fine. I'm leaving. I'm going to leave as it is. Okay. So if I just right click, run as, and flow service, I should see somewhere in the integration server. This is a scheduler service. Let me check in the logs here. Right. This is called from scheduler service. Okay. Cool. Now what I'm going to do is that I'll go back to server scheduling. I'll say create a schedule task. Okay. Click on this. And this time I'm going to call. I'm say that this is my this is my service name. Okay, I'll just give, this is just a description, guys. See, okay. So invoking, invoking, schedule fs, and what is the service? What is the service? So I'm gonna take this as it is. Control C, Control V. Okay, that is my schedule service. Okay. Now if I click on assign inputs, as you can see, there is no inputs to assign because that's obvious, right? See, there's no inputs. Okay, so I'm gonna close this. Okay, and run as I'm going to run as administrator. Okay, that has a super privilege. Target node, any server, but this time, since this is my local host, I'll click on this local host. But ideally, in production or real time, you actually say that any server. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, you, sp you, you specifically say the server. Any server is not the right option, but hey, you know what? That's okay for the POC purpose. Now, question is that, do you want to run immediately? Or do you want to skip and run at the next scheduled interval? Or you suspend at this stage? If you want to skip and run next scheduled interval, please provide the interval. At what time? Say, after three minutes, you run it. Okay, something like that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to the first option called run immediately. And the save task. Okay, see here. Now, it's running every 30 seconds. Can you see it? Every next run is every 30 seconds. Okay. So, and it's active. It's active as well. So I'm going to clear this out. So just keep on refreshing now. See, refreshing 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, execute, execute. That's it. See, now let's go back to the logs. Oops, sorry, logs. See, there you go. It has, which means this has executed the service. That's how you schedule it. Okay, to know more, this is a page. This is the service that you are looking at. And it's in 753 of 753 of integration server administrator guide of version 10.11. Okay. Now, what does it say? Schedule service. Okay. It says, use the server scheduling function to schedule services to execute at times you specify. Correct, right? That's what you have done. 
services that you schedule are referred to as user task okay and scheduling a user task we have seen that go to server and scheduling and create a schedule task and run as user okay target node we have said any server but that's not the right option uh, you have to select the specific host name run immediately this is what you have done skip and run we have not selected suspended place this task in suspended state if i click on the suspended see what happens uh, let me actually do one thing okay see here i'll do one thing see you can either disable active or you can click on this active and you are going to suspend it see if you are going to suspend it it is just suspended that's it it's not going to run see it's not going to run so click on this it becomes active okay now this is if you can see it's a complex repeating task which means no this is not a complex repeating task it's it's repeating every 60 seconds now what i'm going to do i'm go back here and i'm going to say obviously i can give this start date and end date when do you want it to end this service that's up to you okay you can clear the start date and end date but ideally you know what happens the in real time projects they generally go for a complex schedules complex schedules this is something i've seen it where if you are working on for a logging activity or say for example if every 30 seconds you want to uh, execute a particular job and something like that this is what it does but i generally see most of us going for a complex repeating which is nothing but complex schedules so how do we understand this okay see here i'm going to say this okay uh, run immediately but this time i'm going to say it's a complex repeating okay what i'm going to say i'm going to say i want to run on january february march that's it okay and days whole day i just did control a then weekday whole day whole seven days hours midnight 1 12 o'clock 2 a.m 4 a.m 6 a.m 8 a.m see you can you are giving the odd numbers sorry even numbers okay here is not okay fine so 20 and 22 then which minute it's like midnight 12:30 i'm just saying 12:30 and 12:45 okay it's like january february march the whole day whole 31 30 days and whole week monday to sunday sunday to month sun, sorry sunday to sunday <laughs> right then it's like 12:30 12:45 am 2:30 2:45 am i hope you are getting it right so then you just click on update task Now, if you can see here, it is clearly visible. See, okay, and the see the next run. The next run it has taken whichever day it is. Okay, whichever uh, time it is, it's it's in seconds. Okay, so if I have to bring it up, C A L C. Let's say, let's say five eight four one. Let's say divide by sixty. Um, oh, oops, sorry. Clear this out and say divide by sixty. Okay. See right now the time is if it's in six seven seven p.m. almost seven p.m. Okay. So the next run is see seven p.m. means this is six six p.m. eight. This is exactly one hour. Okay. Exactly one hour from now. So if I have to Divide that, then let me refresh it. Schedule it now. It's like five sub five seven seven five five seven seven five sixty. There you go. Okay, so something closer to that. Okay, so you know what I'm saying. You can divide it and get it into the hours part of it. Okay, um, yeah, that's the scheduling service. Now, what? Uh, disable this at this stage now let's see what it says okay here repeating now see here repeating you can provide the start date and start time and end date and end time it's up to you okay and complex repeating is what we have seen right now okay complex repeating is what we have seen right now and so for example if you want to if you want the service execution to start on 
may it turn specify something like this for the start date let us see if that is possible i don't know what is saying let us see click on select let me delete this and create a new scheduler task again i'm going to give this this and run as administrator here see run once okay one time task or repeating see start date you can give 2015 i hope you got it what it means okay and in interval every 5 seconds let me do one thing i'll give i'll just remove this and it seems everything is optional see everything is optional all i'm going to do is that repeat every 5 seconds see what happens now okay i'm going to remove this anyways complex repeating i'm not selecting it save task see a new task has been added here see every 5 seconds see if you have selected one time or a simple interval then it comes here if you selected a complex interval it goes here okay remember that always now every 5 seconds here i'm just going to refresh see now 5 Here, here, here is where you have to see. Okay, here, see two, three, two, one, one, four, five, four, three, two, one. Now you can see here in the logs, we have seen in log many times. See, every five seconds, if you can see every five seconds, see fifty one, fifty six, forty six, fifty one interval of five seconds. Now, if you go for, um, I'm going to delete this. Now, if you click on this. and select rest of it as it is and then if you go for complex repeating you just know what i'm what i've just said rest of them remains the same this is called a scheduler task now let's do one thing now we understood this i'm going to delete this anyways this is not required let's see this let's take this pub sub i have to get the um up okay mm, that's okay let me try to get the um up okay because Here, are there any inputs here? Yeah, they see there's a lot of inputs. Input one and input two, and the subscribing service is this. I think let's do one thing, guys. Instead of creating this, let me create another service, a simple service. Flow service. Flow service zero one. Okay, and here I'm going to give two inputs. Input zero one. input 02 and output is output 01 okay and i'm going to get this map stack you know the famous thing <laughs> addition of two numbers okay add transformer my add math ins uh, right come on add ins okay there you go and then then you know what i am going to get the debug log and take this output i am going to take this output i am going to get this debug log you know and in this debug log i am going to print this message output 01 without any hesitation right now let's go back to is click on scheduling create a schedule task then This time we are going to work on flow service zero one. Take this flow service zero one. I'm gonna say invoke flow service zero one. Then copy paste this service. Control C, Control V. Run as administrator. Run as this particular desktop. Run immediately. I say run immediately. If it's run immediately, every thirty seconds. Remember that. I'm but this time, see guys, I have assign input. See, I have input. Did you guys see this? How cool is this, right? See input. So you have two input here, and here also you have to provide two input. Say I'll say fifty and sixty-three. Why I'm giving this number fifty and seventy? Save. I've assigned the two inputs fifty and seventy. It will add up, and it should give one twenty because here I am performing the addition operation. So save it, and it's going to run. Every sixty seconds, so let's buckle up for the execution. As of now, you see there is nothing. There is nothing that was that was uh, given. So 
let's go back to this guy server scheduling 20 2019-18 so we will just refresh it right so 4 3 2 and it has been executed ok let's go to the logs see 120 pretty cool right pretty cool pretty cool now that's the scheduler service ok scheduling service so make sure that this have been used correctly and uh, I think this is quite a significant use uh, I've seen this use getting used in many projects so that's something you have to kind of a must know all right guys good learning let's see what else we can learn in the next tutorials thank you